All right, so today we're going to take a look at um, how to solve some problems uh, that are a bit more complex. Um, and we're going to use a chart to help us organize um, our information about the problem. Um, here we have a problem that states that pecans are packed in three pound boxes and walnuts are packed in two pound boxes. So right away we know we have two different types of nuts. We have pecans and we have walnuts. And we have some uh, information related to each of these. It says pecans come in three pound boxes and the walnuts come in two pound boxes. So let's put a W above this and a P above this so we know that those go with the walnuts and the pecans. Um, and then we have a statement that compares the number of walnuts and pecans. That's right here. There are 20 few fewer boxes of walnuts than pecans. And then the last thing we have here is a total that we'll have to worry about. So let's start by thinking about what we're going to do to get a total. Well, we know that we have a certain number of boxes, and each box has a certain weight. So if we take the number of boxes times the weight per box, the number of boxes times the weight per, this little line means per, per box, we have the total weight. The total weight. So let's start by, let me fix that a little bit here, total weight. So let's start with um, the weight per box. We know pecans weigh three pounds per box, so we're going to put a three here. And we know walnuts weigh two pounds per box, so we're going to put a two here. And now we need to come up with an expression that compares the two. There are 20 few fewer boxes of walnuts than pecans, so there's fewer walnuts than there are pecans. There's 24 fewer boxes here than there are here. So if we have x boxes of pecans, we have 24 fewer boxes of walnuts, we'll have x minus 24 boxes of walnuts. So to get the total weight, let's say we had 10 boxes of pecans, we know that would weigh 30 pounds, because 10 times 3 would give us 30. But we don't know that this is 10, so we're just going to do 3 times x, or 3x. And the same thing here, if we knew exactly how many boxes there were here, we would take this times 2 pounds per box to get the total weight. But we don't know the number of boxes, so we're just going to write the weight per box times the number of boxes. And we know that uh, the total weight is 462. So where we're going to get our equation is we're going to get our equation by taking the total weight of the pecans plus the total weight of the walnuts and adding those together. So our equation becomes 3x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 24 equals 462. So the next thing we're going to do is solve for x. We need to distribute the 2. So we're going to take the 2 times the x and we're going to remember to distribute the 2 times the negative 24. So we'll have minus 48 equals 462. And then we'll combine like terms. Um, 3x plus 2x is going to give us 5x so we have 5x minus 48 equals 462. And then to get x by itself, we're going to undo the subtracting 48 by adding 48 to both sides of the equation. And then we'll have 5x left on the left-hand side. 5x equals 510. And then we'll divide both sides by 5. And we get that x is... 102. Now let's go back and make sure we've answered the question. The question is find the total weight of the boxes of pecans. Well this is the number of boxes. There are 102 boxes of pecans, but that's not the weight of those boxes. They weigh three pounds each. 
the three, three pounds each. So we need to multiply with the 102 times three to get the total weight, which would be 306 pounds. Right? If we want to double check to make sure that we have the right answer for this particular problem, because um, remember the total weight is 462 pounds, um, we can figure out how much the walnuts would uh, weigh. Uh, first of all, there was 24 fewer boxes of walnuts than pecans, so we'll subtract 24 from 102 and we'll get 78. And we know that those each weigh three pounds, the walnuts are heavier than the pecans. And we'll multiply that and we get one, or excuse me, we multiply that. Oh, I just realized I made a mistake. They're two pounds per box, they're actually lighter. So let's fix that. So 78 boxes of walnuts times two pounds per box is gonna give us 156 pounds. And then we can check, is 306 pounds of pecans plus 156 pounds of walnuts equal to our total, which remember was 462 pounds of nuts altogether. And when we check this, we can see that it is 462 pounds of nuts. So uh, our answer is correct and we have solved the equation.